Have you ever seen any of the stock charts in Excel? In this video, I'm going to share with you how to create a stock chart in Excel that includes information such as the high, the low, and the close. I will show you two different methods that you can use to get all the stock data you need automatically. Okay, so as you can see, this is the completed stock chart in Excel, and the way it works is quite simple. And the cool thing about this stock chart is that it's dynamic. So if I change the company ticker to another company, so in this case, we're going to change it from Apple to Microsoft. You can see the data will update and so will the graph. In this case, the only thing we would really need to update is just the name of the company here, if that's even what we want. But as you can see, this presents us with a very cool visual representation of the company's high, low, close. So just so you have a bit of an overview, the way this works is quite simple. So the high and the low are indicated by these lines that you can see right here. And then the close is the dot, which sometimes it's at the highest, sometimes it's in the middle, sometimes it's at the bottom. So this provides you with a cool representation of the price, which you can then use to be able to perform some type of analysis on the stock price specifically. Okay, so the first step on how to create a stock chart in Excel that includes the high, the low, and the close is to be able to get the data of that particular company in your spreadsheet. So there's many ways in which you can go about doing this. One of the ways is to use the stock history function. Another thing that you can do is to copy paste the data from a website. However, what I recommend that you do is to use Y sheets because using Y sheets, you can get stock financials, you can get dividend data, you can get fundamentals, you can get real-time price data all in your spreadsheet. So once you download the add-in in Excel, what's gonna happen is that you will see this menu, then here you navigate to Wise Price function, and here the Wise Price function is a custom-built function that allows you to get real-time and historical data, specifically when it comes to price and stuff like that. If you want to see what data is included and how the function works, you can check out this uh, part of the function, but you can also check out the function guide as well as the available data. So in this case, let's go through it. So the first thing that you're going to do is enter equals and then wise price. And then we're going to enter the symbol. For the parameters, what we want to enter is the high, the low, and the close. So in that case, what we can do, I'm going to show you two examples. The first one is you can reference the parameters. So in this case, we're going to reference, imagine this is the high, this is the low, and this is the close. And then this is the cool thing. So you can enter a number of days. So let's say we want to get the last 20 days. So we would just enter 20 or you could just skip this and then enter a date. So in that case, that date could be like you can see here, January 1st, 2022 to January 30th, 2022 as the end date. In this case, to make things simple, we're going to go with the last 20 days. So that way we always have the last 20 days and we don't have to update the days to be able to get the data that we're really looking for. So now close the function, enter. The problem is <laughs> that we get the dates, but we don't get the high, the low and the close. And that's because we need to enter that high, low, close. And as you can see, what's going to happen is that you're going to get the information. Again, it gets it from the ticker. It gets me the high, the low and the close. And then for the last 20 business days. So that's why you might see some days skip because the market's not open. Therefore, there's no data for these days. Though is to make this a little bit cleaner. And so the way that I can do that is to get rid of this. As you can see, the data will automatically update. And what we're going to do here is this. We're going to get rid of this reference and we're going to enter the parameters directly into the function. So if you want to enter multiple parameters, which in this case we do in Excel, you enter this curly bracket and then in quotes, you're going to enter high, close quote, low, and then close and then close the bracket. 
and as you can see now we should get the same information that we had before except it's going to look better because we don't have high low close repeated twice so as you can see now we have the information and this table is dynamic so there's two things we could do we could change the company ticker back to apple as you can see the data will update now let's say that you open up the spreadsheet the day after so now there's one day that should change what you can do in that case is press the refresh button and that way for that day there's going to be a switch in the most recent 20 days once you have the data on your spreadsheet like this the rest of the process is fairly simple so what you need to do is to select the data and the reason why is because this is the data that we want to include in the chart then you're going to go and insert and then here this is where it gets interesting so what you're going to do is click on this one right here so waterfall and then here the cool thing is that you're going to be able to see all these different charts that you can use so if you hover over them you see this is the volume open high low close that's another type of graph that we could do but we would also need to get the volume the open and then the rest of the information we already have and as you can see there's different ones that you can use but the one that we want to do in this case is the high low close graph so as you can see that's this one so you click here and then what you can do is obviously make this bigger so it's more easy to visualize and then you can also pick another one of the charts right here so the design is better it's a little bit cleaner and what's going to happen is that you're going to get all the different dates that you selected and you're going to be able to see the high the low and the close what i recommend that you do after is that you change the chart title so in this case we're going to enter apple high low close and then our chart is going to be completed so the cool thing is that if you're doing some type of analysis you could go ahead and copy paste this into a word document or there's different ways uh, so if you left click uh, I'm on Mac but on Windows is very similar you could save this as a picture so that you could then attach this into a PDF or any other type of analysis or report that you might be running using white sheets to get all the stock data you need on your spreadsheet makes it very easy for you to make some really cool graphs using the stock charts functionality in Excel so as you can see this is an example and the cool thing about this is that this is dynamic so if I change the company ticker what's going to happen is that all of the data here will update and then from there all of the charts will be able to update as well so as you can see all these different key metrics updated and now we can also see that the charts updated and this makes it a lot easier to be able to visualize some of the company's key numbers and fundamentals for our analysis if you would like to know more about how to create graphs for stock analysis especially fundamentals let me know in the comments below and i'm happy to make a video on the subject now you know how to create a stock chart in excel that includes information such as the high the low and the close if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and turn on the notifications on so you get notified every time we create a new video like this that's going to show you how to become a more successful stock market investor i'll see you in the next one